Do you want to transfer a file that's larger than 4 gigabytes off of your iPhone to a PC using a USB cable? Fuck you. At least that's what Apple says. So I decided this can't be right. Surely I should be able to do this. And I looked up some tutorials online and the number one recommended on YouTube was some guy saying, go on your iPhone, edit the videos down so they're less than four gigabytes a piece and then you can access them. That is so ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. Canadian computer collector here. We got your back. I'm going to show you how to actually get your iPhone's files that are larger than four gigabytes off the phone with a USB cable on a PC. And unfortunately to do this, you're going to have to go download stupid iTunes. Yes, I know. I don't want to use this. I don't want it on my computer. The reason why you're having this problem is because you don't want it on your computer, but you're using an Apple phone. If you want it to connect to your PC, this is what you've got to do. Consider it like the you put on before you the that is. Anyway, now if we go over to the iTunes site, we want to download it. Nope, got to do it through the Windows store because you or at least that's what Bill Gates is saying because Microsoft products are why would they let you sideload an app which is ridiculous it's called installing a program anyway install iTunes but it's not over yet when you go in there it's gonna ask you to log in maybe you're like me and you put in the right password you enter the passcode that it gives you and it keeps popping it up anyway just press cancel until that goes away once it goes away then you're going to want to look back down at your iPhone. It's not just the allow screen. You also have to enter your password. If you don't get that screen, what you need to do is unplug your phone and plug it back in while iTunes is running. And then you should see it pop up with the option to enter your password. This will be on your phone again, not on your PC. And once that happens, then you look over at your files and, uh, and you'll find them right there on your phone, on your PC. But you also need to remember that if you close iTunes, you won't be able to see any of the files. So you need to have it open while you want to see the files and transfer them off, even if you're not using iTunes to do so. Also make sure that it didn't enable itself to run on startup. So make sure to go check your startup apps. Just go to start and then type the word startup and then change the startup apps and then look for the iTunes and iTunes helper and make sure those are disabled. This is such a frustrating issue and I am surprised that I could not find another video about this. If you want to support the channel, you like cool tech, old computers, that sort of stuff, you can come on by, watch other videos. Thank you so much to our Patreon subscribers. Our patrons are the reason why this stuff is all possible. I'm not the Canadian computer collector, but I am his brother.